We are back 815 with the Today exclusive. In 1957, then Senator John F. Kennedy won a Pulitzer Prize for his book, Profiles in Courage. And since 1989, the Kennedy family and the JFK Library Foundation have used the Profile in Courage Award to celebrate the qualities of political courage that he admired most. Public servants who have made courageous decisions without regard for personal or professional consequences. Well, this year, five people have been chosen, and we can reveal them now. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, Congresswoman Liz Cheney, Michigan Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson, Arizona State House Speaker Russell Rusty Bowers, and Wandrea Shea Moss, an elections worker in Fulton County, Georgia. And JFK's grandson, Jack Schlossberg, helps with the foundation, help chose, choose those recipients and joins us now. How, Jack, it's good to see you. Great to see you, Savannah. We're always thrilled when you bring us these stories and uh, the top of the list of Vladimir Zelensky. I mean, this is a time when democracy is really in jeopardy around the world, no mm -hmm. place more than there. Um, this had to be not a difficult decision for the top of the list. No, I think this issue is so important. That's why we chose five winners this year, not just one. The whole world stands with Ukraine and, and President Zelensky in standing up uh, to tyranny and for democracy around the world. But you're right, democracy is under attack. Uh, and there's no issue that's more important. So I'm so excited that this year we're celebrating these winners um, who put their lives and careers on the line to defend democracy. And we have Republicans, we have Democrats. I mean, and a lot of this, uh, you have Congresswoman Liz Cheney, you have several elections workers. Tell us about those individuals and why they made this list. Well, um, protecting democracy requires action at all levels of government. And I think this year uh, we're making a statement that, that, that that's really true. So we have an elections worker, Shay Moss, who's committed her uh, much of her professional life uh, to the hard work of working for the elections commissions and counting ballots. Uh, we have a Secretary of State. That's a very important job in our election system. Jocelyn Benson from Michigan. Rusty Bowers took a stand. Uh, he put country before party to stand up for democracy and stop an illegal attempt to overthrow the 2020 election in Arizona. Um, of course, the whole world stands with President Zelensky. And Liz Cheney really impressed me um, putting country before party again, like Rusty Bowers, uh, to defend democracy and stand for accountability for the January 6th attacks. And when you really dive into these individual stories, a lot of them face death threats for the stances they took to defend democracy. That's right. Um, I spoke to Wandra Moss on the phone, Shay Moss. Um, her life really changed. Uh, she was an election worker counting ballots. She was called out by President Trump. No one in that position should be called out by the sitting president for doing their job. Uh, but she did, and she stood firm, and we should celebrate her for that. Yeah. You ever think about what your grandfather would think about the way politics is today? I mean, it was tough then, but I mean, it's, it's just when you look at it now and the level of discourse. Yeah, I think, you know, it, it's always been tough. I think he would be very optimistic, as I am today. Um, people tried to overthrow the, um, to overturn the election in 2020, but they weren't successful. Um, and people are attacking democracy all the time, but there are people with integrity like these winners who are standing up and defending democracy. Well, we got to catch up on some family business. First of all, congratulations. You just graduated from Harvard, a JD MBA. That's You're right. a lawyer. You've got your master's in business. That's right. And you've moved back home. I have. Exactly. <laughs> I'm living in my childhood bedroom. So it's all going according to plan. Well, everybody wants to know what your plans are. Do you know what your plans I are? I don't know my plans. Yeah. I have no plans. But I have a new nephew. Um, Wait a minute. I, that was my next question, but you already broke a piece of news because your sister Tatiana yes. had a little baby. We yeah. didn't know if it was a boy or girl. It's a boy. It's a boy. And can you tell us the name? His name is Edwin, but I like to call him Jack. Oh. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> but his name is Edwin. But his name is Edwin. After, after, after your my father. Dad, yeah. Yes, of course. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. And yeah. have you been over there? Yeah, all the time. I, I can't get away from him. I love him. He's, a, well, the, he's like the first, first grandchild yeah. for your mom. Yeah. Is, is she into it? So into it. I handed in my last paper on the day that he was born, so no one even noticed. <laughs> yeah, they're like, I finished school. you've been overtaken. Yeah, exactly. Sorry. It's all about Edwin slash Jack now. Exactly. Uh, well, you know, what? One of these times you came here or you were with your mom, and I think it might have been the first time you were on with us, and I asked you, like everyone does, whether you have a future in politics, and you said... That I have no plans. No, you said stay tuned, Savannah. I said, stay tuned, Savannah? I'm still tuned. That's very bold of me to it say. It was quite yeah. bold and remarkable. Do you have any, any news about no that? I have no plans, no updates to share. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, congratulations Thank on you. everything. Thank you for introducing us to the Profiles and Courage Award Thank recipients. You. Thank you so much. And the little nephew. Next time, bring pictures. I will. Okay, congratulations Thank to Tatiana you. and her husband. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.